Hey, saints. Um, I'm hoping this doesn't take very long, but I prayed on it, and it's something that the Lord Jesus wants me to speak about. And anyhow, um, there's a lot of people speculating that the rapture is going to be in September 2015. In fact, you got false prophets, those I expose, even other false prophets saying that the rapture is September 2015 because of the blood red moons, the tetrad, and this being the shmeet of the year. I'm here to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, that I spoke to the Lord. And he clearly said, no man knows the day nor the hour. And that the season for the rapture is certainly not September. The rapture is not going to take place in September. It's not going to take place when you expect it or when I expect it. It's going to take place when we least expect it. What we should be doing as believers in Christ is we need to be watching for the Lord's arrival because it is imminent. You know, even though no man knows the day nor the hour, the Lord Jesus is coming soon, okay? He's coming soon. So instead of flocking to these false prophets, satanic ministries, you need to flock to the word of Jesus Christ and get fed with truth. Because the word of God is very clear when it says, no man knows the day nor the hour. Jesus Christ has shown me that a lot of false prophets are putting out messages like this, and it's very dangerous. The Lord's not coming for false prophets. He's certainly not coming for sinners. I know that we all fall short of the glory of God. That's why we have to confess the sins, repent of it, go through the corruption, so they can be washed away by the blood of the Lamb. So that way, our garments can be spotless and clean, and our oil lamps full, so when the Lord comes, we can make it out of here if the Lord chooses to select us. But you can't expect for God to take you. This is not quite all of you, but a lot of you, yes. You can't expect God to wrap you out of here and think that you're worthy, you know, when you continue to sin. It's not right. God says in the word to be hope, you know, that pray that you're counted worthy to escape what is to come. Pray meaning. That you pray that you're counted worthy of God. That, that you're doing everything that's right before God's eyes. Living righteous, free of sin. That your garments are white and spotless, without blemish, without wrinkle. That your oil lamps are full. Okay? So that way you can be counted worthy. So you can prove your worth to God. That you can, so you can escape what's to come. But saints... People are putting out false videos that you're not going to see any suffering. You, you're seeing it already. You're seeing it. And it's going to get worse. A lot of people expected that they'd be in the rapture by now. They just preach the rapture gospel. But they don't account for suffering our brothers and sisters in Christ are going through right now. They're getting persecuted, even killed. It's like they think that they're worthy, more worthy than the brothers and sisters in Christ that are martyrs for the faith. In my opinion, they're not. Because you got brothers and sisters in Christ. I mean, children as young as seven years old, even younger, dying for Jesus without hesitation. So when the Lord comes back, who do you think he's going to choose? The person that's self-righteous that listens to a false prophet? Or the individual that's willing to die for Jesus and that lives for the Lord? And not for themselves. The Lord's going to choose the individual that's willing to die for him and that lives for him and not themselves. You're going to see suffering. That's why my ministry is up to help you prepare for what's to come because I've already told you a lot of things I've been shown and they've come to pass. I've told you about the stock market crashing. That's happened. Ladies and gentlemen, the Dow Jones closed at 496 points. And it's not going to get any better. Things are going to get worse. You're going to see suffering. And in these last days, you have to comfort each other, encourage each other, help each other, edify each other. 
and work as members in the body of Christ, as one. Jesus Christ is the head. So that way you can be counted worthy of what's, you know, to escape what's to come. Is things going to get interesting in September? I believe so, yes. But I, I don't believe a rapture is going to happen when you want it. And it's certainly not going to happen in September. The Most High told me that there's going to be a super moon in September. I'm not talking about the blood moon. That's going to be a super moon too, but there's going to be another super moon in September. Sometime in September. There was one on Saturday. The Lord told me about that one. There's going to be another one coming up. That's why CERN wants to um, run the device that they have. Because when there's a super moon, that's when the spiritual realms are at its thinnest, ladies and gentlemen. It's like if there's a lot of hot spots, they can open up a portal more easily to the spiritual realm. They ran the they ran the machine this past Saturday because it was a super moon. They're not gonna tell you that. I prayed to Jesus about it. I don't expect you to take what I say at face value. Go to Jesus and ask him if what I tell you is true. Seek the Lord's counsel. I just had to talk about this real quick because a lot of people are feeding into these false prophets that are telling y'all the raptors in September. This is not the time that you want to get deceived, ladies and gentlemen. You know why else? I was at work today and I was using the bathroom. Meaning I went to the bathroom to wash my hands and as I was about to open the door to go into the restroom, I saw a gold wedding band on my left finger and I saw another one that was like um, diamonds on my right. You know where the wedding ring goes? It was like diamonds, a diamond wedding band. Gold one here, diamond wedding band here. And it was like a white gold band. It didn't look like the gold from now. It looked like really old from the time of Jesus Christ. Now. I asked the Lord Jesus Christ about this and the Lord said that the wedding feast is at hand. Now I'm not sitting here implying that I'm a bride because I don't know that. That could just be just a vision to warn you. I don't know if I'm a bride. But what's very interesting is that I spoke to a few brothers and sisters in Christ and they said that they had the same vision. Some of them had a dream, some of them had a vision and I told them to test the spirits of course. and they did and the few of them their dreams and visions was identical to mine they had a light gold a white gold band on their wedding finger which is this one hope you can see that this finger right here and then that's the left hand on the right hand they had another, a, a diamond gold band right here on that wedding finger Lord told me that the wedding feast is at hand. That's not telling you the rapture is going to be tomorrow, okay? The Lord just said the time is close, but he said certain calamities will take place first. Because bottom line, ladies and gentlemen, the rapture is going to happen when Jesus Christ decides. But he said, there's a wicked generation that's always looking for signs. That's not watching for him. So he's not going to come when they expect it. He's going to come when you least expect it. But he did say that the wedding feast is at hand. And that he's calling his elect, whoever that is. He started calling his elect. I'm not sitting here telling you people that the ark is closed. You still have time to repent. If you have and confess your sins, repent. You know, if you're a current you know believer in Christ, if you're warm or, or uh, lukewarm or backslidden, if you don't know Christ, then you can um, get water baptized, confess your sins, and repent of them, go through the corrections, so and they can be washed away by the blood of the Lamb. Okay? But there's not much time left. Now, to be in the presence of the Most High God, Jesus Christ, you have to go through three baptisms. The Bible talks about that. Elijah went through, all the prophets of old did. That's water baptism, getting baptized with the Holy Spirit, and fire baptism. When you're so close to God, like you have a zeal and you have a fire for God. Because God's a consuming fire. You get baptized with that consuming fire. A zeal for God like a soldier in Christ. Like another Paul, another Elijah, you know, another righteous prophet of old. It's in the scriptures, ladies and gentlemen. I would suggest you, you Google 
through baptism in KJV, it'll come right up. Scriptures to back it up. So I just, I don't want to deviate from this. I do have to work tomorrow, but the Lord wanted me to speak on this, okay? Pray that your count of worthy was to come because it's not good. There's not going to be a rapture in September, okay? But the saints will be tested like never before and tried to see if you're worthy of him and you will see suffering. There's no denying that. So I'm, I'm trying to prepare you what's to come and prepare that you might be a martyr for Christ. So get your houses in order and live for Jesus. Live for him. Carry a cross every day. Deny the flesh. Slay the flesh. Remember the Bible says to kill yourself in the flesh. Doesn't mean to go commit suicide. What that basically means is a spiritual sacrifice. Spiritually sacrifice the flesh for Jesus Christ. Be strong in the, in the spirit. Not strong in the flesh. Be strong in the spirit. Weak in the flesh. Okay, I hope that this message helps someone. And I had um, subscribers email me asking me to speak on this. And I believe that that was the Lord Jesus Christ working through them. So take this to the Lord in prayer. And the Lord will guide you and tell you if what I tell you is true. Don't take what I say at face value. Don't trust me. Trust Jesus. Please. Take care.